Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to record and stream games inside of OBS for 2017, um, basically from start to finish. So over here on the right, you'll see that I have The Witcher 2 opened. That's the game we're just going to be using as a test demo here. Um, in the bottom left hand of OBS, when you open it up, you're going to see something called Scenes. That's basically each individual recording setup. So inside of a scene, you can have multiple sources, which could include uh, basically a window that's going to have game footage. It could include images that you might be using as an overlay. It could include uh, video capture devices, which would be like a webcam, um, something that a lot of YouTubers use these days. Um, and so yeah, what we're going to need to do is actually set up a scene for starters. So I'm going to create a new scene and call it Witcher 2 because we're recording The Witcher 2, obviously. So once you've created a scene, you need to add sources to it. Um, you might only have one source, which might just be the window, and you might have multiple, obviously, if you want to record webcams or stuff like that. But the main ones we're going to be focusing on right here today are uh, Game Capture and Window Capture. So some games actually play a little bit differently with OBS. Not every game is actually going to be able to be captured with Game Capture, which is strange. Um, but usually if Game Capture doesn't work, Window Capture will work. And sometimes when Window Capture doesn't work, Game Capture will work. So basically just play around, uh, see which one actually manages to grab the game. And what I like to go for here is capture a specific window rather than capture any full screen application simply because, um, well, I, I want it to be very specific. I don't want to accidentally capture the wrong game. So in window, as an option here, if you go with capture specific window, you can choose which or two or whatever game you're trying to run. Hit OK. Kind of can discount the other settings for the most part. And that's going to add basically the footage of that game streaming right into the preview window and when you're recording into your video file. Now the process for adding a window capture is pretty much the same and for this game uh, both play equally nicely with OBS so adding a window capture you select the window you want which are two hit OK and it's in our preview. Now, one of the things that we're having an issue with right here is that the resolution on our Witcher 2 game is less than the resolution of our overall preview window of our overall canvas. And that's an issue because are you really going to want all this black space in your final video? No, of course not. So how we're going to get around that is creating a new profile that has basically specific settings that are going to be specific to this game. Um, and our specific setup. The difference between a scene is that a scene contains sources, so it's what sources you're adding to the video, but a profile is all of the settings. So we're going to create another one here, and yeah, I'm aware that I already have a profile with the same name. We'll just call it 1280 by 720 Witcher 2 New. So this is going to be a completely blank profile and we're going to need to go into the file menu and then settings to get everything right. So first things first, in order to get rid of all that black space, because we're recording a window that's only uh, 1280 by 720, we also want the canvas to be that size. So in the video tab here, we have base canvas resolution. That's what we need to change and we're going to change it to this resolution right here. So the easiest thing to do would be to copy and paste that. But to note the difference between base resolution and output resolution, if your base resolution is higher than your output resolution, it's actually going to scale down the final video before it goes out to a stream or a recorded file on your computer. So you might have uh, your computer running at 12, uh, 1920 by 1080, but then you scale it down to a 720p resolution, um, I guess so it's less processor intensive and it's more bitrate friendly. So we'll hit apply here and that's going to fix our resolution issue because now the canvas is 720p and the game is 720p so it matches up perfectly. But we're going to need to go to the output tab and talk a little bit about bitrate. So the higher your, um, your video resolution is, the higher your bitrate should be because you have more pixels to take care of, so 
generally speaking, you're going to need to put more data into your video file for it to look as good uh, at a higher resolution. So video bitrate is often going to be limited by your streaming bandwidth. So if you want to stream online, you need a good internet connection, pretty much period. So I can hit apply here. I won't change anything we see here, but it will affect the video quality when we record to a file or when we stream online. Um, alternatively, uh, you can just come down here for recording quality and have a specific setting for recording to a file and then a different setting for the streaming bitrate. For instance, if you want to have high quality footage saved on your computer, but you don't have a good enough internet to stream at that same high quality level online to a service like Twitch or YouTube. Um, now video bitrate, I have other videos on my channel you should check out about finding the ideal video bitrate for streaming. If you're just recording to your computer, then this is only going to be limited by uh, how powerful your computer is, and generally 4000 kbps isn't too bad for recording to a file, but it is a lot for streaming online because bandwidth is a limiting factor. Uh, now, uh, one other thing on this tab we need to take care of, optionally, is setting the recording path. Now, this is going to default to basically your user profile on Windows slash videos or kind of the same thing on Linux, but you can specify a path. So, for instance, I have a subfolder or directory called captures where I like to put my video captures um, just for the sake of organization. So... Yeah, you can change the recording path, and that's going to be where it's putting all of the video files into. So I'm going to hit apply here. Um, audio is going to be one more thing we want to take care of. Now, you can see this whole time I've been talking that I have good audio levels here. You don't want it to go uh, basically above that green area because then it gets distorted. And you do want to make sure it's able to be heard probably louder than the game audio if you're recording a game and not like a uh, tutorial like this one. Uh, but in order to have the right mic selected, you're going to want to choose your mic auxiliary device. So I'm using HD Pro Webcam C920 by Logitech right now. Um, D desktop audio device, generally you can leave that as default, but it's basically whatever speakers um, you're using and you want to record the output sound of, that's what you're going to want to select here. I almost always have it set to default. Now, a quicker way of selecting a mic, because mic slash aux will always be in the mixer over here, the audio mixer, is to right-click it, go to properties, choose the device, and have HD Pro Webcam, or whatever uh, microphone you happen to be using. Just hit OK for that. Um, now, let's see. I think we're just about ready to go ahead and do a test recording. Not streaming, but a recording. So I'm going to hit start recording over here. And uh, as you can see in the bottom right, it's going to show how many seconds of recording this has been going for, how much CPU recording is taking up. And I, I think one of the best things about OBS is that it's not really that CPU or computing intensive compared to like old versions of Fraps I had some issues with back in the past where it's just requires like a supercomputer to really run properly. Maybe I had the settings wrong, I don't know. But anyway, we have a 30 second recording there, so that we can use as a test recording. I'm going to open up my captures directory, find the video file that we were recording, and this is the one that we're active, I, I'm actively really recording for this tutorial. Uh, let's see. We can actually sort by details here, and let's see, what's the newest one? This one right here. So open it up, and your video... Um, basically viewer of choice. And one more thing I did forget to mention that's really important. You see how it says .flv? That's the default file format that uh, OBS records in, which there's nothing wrong with, but not every video editor can actually support. So here we'd just be checking out, making sure that we can hear the audio, which we can't because I have my uh, desktop audio turned off. But Always make sure you test your audio, make sure that the video looks good, make sure that the audio looks good before you go live with the stream, before you actually uh, record for any video editing you're going to be doing later. Yeah, just a quick pro tip there. Um, now back about the FLV thing. If you're editing in, say, Adobe Premiere, uh, FLV is not going to cut it for you. So in file settings, we can change the output type 
it's actually an output. So recording format down here. Not every video editor supports FLV, so you might need to change that to MP4. I think MP4 might have the widest compatibility. I can't think of a video editor I've seen in any recent time that doesn't support MP4. So if you have any doubt, switching to MP4 is probably fine for you, but you can also double check with whatever video editor you're going to use. So hit OK for that. Now the last thing you guys really need to know for right now is streaming. So in order to start streaming, you have to obviously put in the stream key for whatever service you're going to be using. So go to the stream tab in settings. And here we're going to need to choose Twitch, YouTube Gaming, or whatever you're using. Um, and you're going to see basically the server and the stream key there. So for Twitch, probably select the one that's closest to you. So like if you live in US to East, New York City or something like that, you're probably going to want to go with New York City just so they have the lowest ping. And then you would go to twitch.tv slash dashboard and find the stream key tab there. Copy your key in, paste it here, and hit OK. Then, uh, assuming your key's right, you can hit start streaming and it will actually send the video footage over to the Twitch server so that people can watch you play as you're playing your game. Um, now let's see, a couple quick more things. YouTube, pretty if you're streaming to YouTube instead, it's pretty much the same process. Just find the streaming page on YouTube, get the stream key, copy paste it in here, and you're good to go. But in the general tab, a couple more settings. Automatically record when streaming is a good one to have checked, I think. If you are going to edit the footage, maybe making a highlight video or something like that later on, having this checked will make sure that when you hit the start streaming button, it's automatically going to go into start recording mode. Recording is where it puts it out to a video file, streaming sends it to the server, and if you have both of those checked, then it's going to be doing both of those simultaneously. Uh, also, keep recording when stream stops. If for some reason you're streaming online, you lose connection to the streaming server, if you have this checked, then it's not going to stop recording. Uh, you won't lose any footage because it'll keep it'll keep recording until you stop the recording manually, not when you stop the stream. So those two settings might be something you actually want to have checked. So you can check them. Go ahead, hit apply or OK, and you're good to go there. Um, so yeah, I guess we can show a couple quick more things here. If you want to add in an image, like an overlay. You would right click the sources, add image, create new, locate the image file on your computer. Let's see here, I guess we'll add this dog face in. Kind of cute. Uh, obviously, uh, with something like an overlay, you'd actually be looking at a PNG file so that you can have some uh, transparency in your image. So you might have like a giant square image but parts of it are transparent so that you can have other things like the webcam show up on top or the game doesn't get covered up by your gigantic image. But that's the general idea of how you add images and adding in webcams pretty much video capture device, select your webcam and you're good to go. Oh, um, I guess we'll mention here while we're trying to cover everything, if you do need to scale anything up Basically, select the source, and you can grab the corners, drag them up or down. If you only want to scale one side, same applies with the game footage as well, if you need to. But as far as a basic tutorial goes for recording and streaming games or any other kind of content using OBS, obviously I use it for tutorials on this channel, that's going to just about cover it for you guys, so I hope this video was very useful. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my future video content.